All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And, and today we are going to be watching another 80s classic, um, The Never Ending Story. So I have not seen this. You have not seen this. Um, I know I've, I've heard like references to it and things like that. And it seems to be a little bit in the vein of uh, Labyrinth, which we just watched. Okay. So I'm excited. It's kind of like the fantasy genre in the 80s. I don't really know. I'm kind of excited to get into this. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people were saying how this was like their childhood movie. I Really? Like I said, okay. I've heard about it. I've never seen it, though. So I'm very interested to see how this all turns out, how this movie is. As always, though, full-length reactions up with the Patreon. Next week's 80s classic, whichever movie you guys vote for. I was thinking maybe even The Dark Crystal or something, since that seems to be kind of in the same vein. But whatever you guys vote for this movie here... It is also up for some early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. It is really reasonable and it does really help us out on the channel. Either way though, thank you just for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new, welcome. And let's just get into the never-ending story. This is so interesting to me that there was like, there seems to be a little bit of like a movie run of these kind of like fantasy 80s movies. Or like fantasy movies in the 80s. I think mean, it's really interesting. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I've heard this song. Okay. I'm not gonna oh, there's clouds? And I don't know how they did that effect. Are they just I'm not like saying that they paintings? couldn't. No, no, they're moving way too like almost like a 3D element. You know, it, it feels like that. That's just really cool. Uh, stuff like that is cool to me. Okay, what what even is this about? Like, I have no idea. Is that like a dream or something? Like, why is he? I was gonna say those are some weird dreams you're having, kid. I mean, dreams are. <laughs> that's true. Dreams no, are no, no, that's true. I mine would be a lot worse. Kind of trippy. Morning, Bastion. The struggle, man. I think you hit it a few times or something. You put it under water. Oh, yeah, you can. That was the new trick I've been <laughs> So lame. I'm going to try it out. I had another dream, Dad. Oh, shoot. About okay. Mom. Whoa. Interesting. I understand, son. But we have to get on with things, right? So were those the images that we were seeing? Like, that was just... Yeah, I don't know. Bastion, we each have responsibilities. We can't let Mom's death be an excuse for not getting the old job done, right? It feels a little awkward between them, you know? Well, I mean, I feel like it... I mean, it just is, you know, with the death in the family and how young he is. I got a call from your math teacher yesterday. <laughs> what the... <laughs> you never did that? No. Horses. Oh, my gosh. Unicorns. They were unicorns. What? They were unicorns, Dad. They weren't horses. Bastion, you're old enough to get your head down out of the clouds and start keeping both feet on the ground, right? Hmm. That feels a little okay. inconsiderate. Yeah, I mean, but... No, I mean, I, I just, I feel like it is rough. But you always got to be careful. Like, I, I don't think he's being inconsiderate because of how, you know, it, it feels very in the middle, kind of. That's true. I mean, you guys remember, you don't want to go all the other way. I've seen that happen to people before. Of course, of course. Got any cash for it today? Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Idiots. So what is this? Hey, what the heck? Nobody's gonna be like, hey, these kids are chasing him. I guess you just think they're playing. I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> or it's just like they just think it's not their problem. Are you serious? Whoa. Jeez. Poor kid. Kids, man, what the heck? That sucks. Hey, man, <clears throat> you said you can get out of the garbage. Get back in there! Are you serious? Were you, were you guys are waiting for him? What? Bro, if someone... I'd be so pissed if someone, like, hit me like that. Like, come on, why, why isn't anyone stopping those okay. kids? Where is this? It looks like a library. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Whoa, this is like an ancient library. The video arcade is down the street. Here we just sell small rectangular objects. They're called books. <laughs> that hurts. I've read Treasure Island, The Last of the Mohicans, Wizard of Oz, Lord of the Rings, 20,000 Leagues on the Sea. Whoa, I like this kid, man. You got good taste. Who are you running away from? People who don't like books. Kids from school. They want to throw me in the garbage. Why don't you give them a good punch in the nose? That's easier said than done. <laughs> like he's like half their size. What's that book about? It's the oh, never ending story. Something special. <laughs> Your books are safe. Afterwards, you get to be a little boy again. Wait, what? Because outside the book, it's reality, kind of. Have you ever been Captain Nemo? Like actually? Yeah, because he was saying your books do that, as if his books do something different. Well, because his books like don't. 
Aren't you afraid you couldn't escape? But it's only a story. Yeah. Oh, no. He's going to go he's into the story. Sucked into a story, oh, dude. read a safe. And that one isn't? Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. now he's gonna. Bro. Yeah. You just, like, gave him a little sample, and he's fascinated. Yeah, there's no way. Forget about it. This book is not for you. Sorry, did you say I need to read this book right now? Because that's what he heard. He might as well be <laughs> saying that. <laughs> All you have to do is say, don't touch this, and everyone's touching it. Whoa, dude. That's awesome looking, actually. Yeah. The, I love the design of that. Yeah, it's like the kind of the Ouroboros. Yeah, I just... Feeling like snakes. Oh, wait. I wonder if he's trying wait, to... Wait, so he did that on purpose? I would think he's trying to help him, out, help him out. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if the reason he's struggling in math class is because he's been, like, late or stuff like that, or, like, lost his homework, you know? Like, I wonder if it is he's not just could, trying even. Well, I mean, even just being bullied, right? You're not going to put as much effort into that kind of stuff. It's of course. Like too hard. You're going to be distracted. You're going to be scared. You're going to no, be tired, right? What the? He's going to be reading in the... Uh... He's going to be teleported into another world. Watch, he's going to get teleported into this other world. There's going to come out like a freaking knight or something like that. Like, <laughs> And then the bullies are going to show up and he's going to be like, Dude, I hope peasants. so. Something I actually love about these 80s movies is that seeing like fantasy now, it makes like references to like the Lord of the Rings and the Wizard. Uh -huh. Like those like iconic, you know, like even in, in even in Labyrinth. I thought that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be a little scared. I'm not going to lie. I love this music. The wind whistled through the tops of the ancient trees. Oh, great. Crashed and rumbled through the eerie woods. Gonna be like a nice, like, romance story, like... I mean, he was talking about safety and all <laughs> that, so... Whoa! What the heck? The practical effects, man! <laughs> what? This is what? freaky! What the heck is it? There's a... Oh, Whoa. it's like a weird kind of mechanical creature type thing. You guys better dip. Yeah. It's coming. Well, the snail is not going anywhere. Oh, it's like a troll or like a... Oh, he's like pushing he's it. He's pushing it. Oh. They're screwed. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> guys, get out of his way. He's trying to work. This is so cool. Would it be all right if I joined you this evening? <clears throat> um, yeah, just, just don't kill us. <sighs> How did they do this? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what? Is he gonna eat it? Yeah. <laughs> delicious looking limestone rock. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really pick it for My that, but. Vintage <laughs> okay, is it just me or does this guy sound like Treebeard? Like, like the voice bit. actor almost. Is he a nutcase? <laughs> no, he's a rock biter. Whoa, Whoa watch out! The crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, come on, man. You're a messy eater. <laughs> yeah, bro. You're wasting all that. Oh! oh. Did the lake dry up? No, it just wasn't there anymore. Wait, what? Nothing was there. I feel anymore. like there's like something evil or something. Yeah. The hole would be something. No, it was nothing. What do you mean nothing? I feel like this has something to do with like it being a story or something. Oh! Wait, what do you mean it has something to do with the biggest story? You know how, like, I don't know, you know, like, something like losing the imagination or, you know, something, like, different like oh, that. Oh, maybe. Because it does. It sounds like things are just disappearing. Yeah. So, it's not just in our part of Fantasia. Fantasia? I've heard of that. Why are we all just sitting around here instead of taking off for the ivory tower? Right! Are we sure our boy's not going to eat the ivory tower? <laughs> Come on, old girl. Wait. Wake up. Whoa. Are, are we sure we're, we're going to go the same speed? Don't worry. It's a racing snail. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> but, but, but we can't even wait for a racing snail. Whoa. Oh, it really is a racing snail. <laughs> we can't wait for oh, you, bro. Me and my stupid Don't call him stupid. I like him. Yeah, you're the only one in the air. You need some of that air force. Oh, is that the... What? Oh, no. What the heck? It kind of reminds me of those clouds in the beginning. Yes, it bit. does. Whoa. Is that the nothing? Probably. The nothing. Whoa. Go run. Go, dude. Look it. This is an awesome shot. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's stunning. The heart of Fantasia. 
What? I kind of like how they actually showed the snail moving. It's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Make sure he stops. I wonder if that big roller thing is so that he can like create space so he can move through, you know? Whoa. Dude, this movie has been so like actually truly beautiful. No, yeah. And like, it has, the designs of everything. It has a sense of like epicness to it. And, and just wonder. It, yeah. Whoa, man, look at that. The rock formations kind of look like clouds. Yeah. That's cool. Whoa. Look at all these different angles on like these massive like... I don't know how they're doing some of this stuff. It's really impressive. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. So cool. That's beautiful. The home of the Empress. She's our only hope. Where's our boy? Like, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's not going to be like we're thinking. I, I don't yeah, know. I thought he was going to be like... I thought he was going to show up right away. Whoa, that's freaky, Whoa. dude. Look at those giant heads. The nothing is destroying our world. Yes. I don't know how you keep a straight face in these meetings. I'd be like looking over like, hey guys. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey. I mean, they're all used to it, so. Whoa, that's oh, freaky. It's cool. I terrible news. What? What? The Empress herself has become deathly ill. Oh, great. What? She's dying. Okay. But okay. Then if she can't help us. So she cannot save us. Well, we gotta figure out how to oh. save her. Yeah. There just might be one chance. A boy. The hero. He alone has a chance to fight the nothing. Okay. To fight the nothing. His name is Atreyu. Atreyu? Isn't, isn't there another name that's kind of like that? He carried with him the hopes of all Fantasia. Is it like a kid? Yeah. Because he's like a young boy. Shoot. I'm sorry. This is not the time or place for children. Yes, it is. If you don't want me here, you shouldn't have sent for me. Is he in that case? Guys. He thinks everybody's in that case. This is not the time. You would be willing to go on a quest? Yes, of course. I don't know why this kid reminds me of like Princess Mononoke. Kind of does. You yeah. know, I don't know. It's kind of an odd reference. Is there any chance of success? I do not know. He, well, we didn't know you were a kid, so <laughs> we don't really know anything. Let's go, Atreyu. I like how he has a bow. When do I begin? <laughs> now, you must hurry, Treyu. Yeah, guys, we don't have time. Yeah, we have. We literally saw it. Like, yeah. How is he gonna fight? Take this. Oh, it's the symbol in the book. Interesting. Okay, and also, why is it called the Never Ending Story? He who wears the orange speaks for the Empress. It will guide and protect you. That's a really cool symbol. It is a really cool symbol. That. Isn't that kind of, isn't that, hasn't that been used as a symbol for infinity, right? Like the two snakes eating each other? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it has. I'm not sure that specifically, but. It does, yeah, I'm not sure if it looked exactly like that. I know there's that one where it's like the snake biting the tail. Eating, and it's e like, eating each other. Dang, man. This kid can ride. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's really cool. Dang. I thought we'd get like a little bit of a party or something. Not gonna lie. I did Creature too. Creature of Darkness also began his quest. Creature oh. of Darkness? Oh, are we gonna get a... So it's actually like a physical antagonist? Oh. Uh oh Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. That's cool. It's like a wolf. It's like a wolf, yeah. yeah. The Creature of Darkness, the Gamork, was already tracking them down. We couldn't send like a, we couldn't do like the fellowship and like send him with the That's crew. That's what I was thinking. You That's know, what I like, thought we were going to get. This poor kid's out here by himself. Like I know he's a great warrior, but he could use some help. You no, know, it's the fate of the world here. I feel like a few other people might want to. You know, everybody <laughs> maybe. It's time to eat. Yeah, that's how beautiful it's good idea. Yeah. No, it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. Like, I don't mean it. I hope it doesn't come across as like a condescending thing. I just am so impressed by like this or like Labyrinth or anything like that. It's yeah. just like stunning. And because it's older, it is. And it's harder to do stuff well, like yeah, that. Yeah, and you, I, I think it's just really impressive. There's like a lack of, you know, resources and knowledge about certain things. And so for them to be able to do that, it's crazy. Oh, dang. He's right behind them, dude. The desert of shattered hopes. There was only what are they one looking for? Left. A cure, to like. But, but. Morla, the wisest being in Fantasia. Okay. Somewhere in the deadly swamps of sadness. Look how on the nose these sadness. these these names are. It feels the very, desert of shattered dreams. It feels very like um you know like book like. Oh, story, dude, really? Like something know? out of a book, hundred percent. Oh. 
Careful. Um. Also, the wolf with the green eyes, it reminds me of uh, the wolf from, like, Ragnarok. Not just, like, the movie Thor Ragnarok, but, like, Ragnarok, like, the myth. I have no Because no it has, I'm almost positive it has those green eyes. Because really? like, it's, like, the wolf of the apocalypse or whatever. Okay. It's got to be so tiring. Oh, yeah. What? Come on, Artax. doesn't want to go. No, dude. Come on, Artax. Don't get all depressed. What's wrong? Is he stuck? Come on, boy. He's what says it like it gives you it like takes you in if you like give into your sadness? No. What? Fighting against the sadness, Artax, Artax. No. What the heck, dude? You're gonna kill our boy Artax? Oh no. Jeez. What the heck? But then what if he gets yeah, sad because Artax died? <laughs> There's no way that he's not sad. <laughs> I like how they keep going back. Yes. Keep pushing forward. Come on. Zao must be watching us watch movies. <laughs> Reactorception. Dang, good on, good on my man. Yeah. I do wonder if you're right though. I wonder if there's an actual connection somehow. I feel like, cause like it's, it's almost more than parallels at this point. It just feels like the type of story to do that or something. Did we make it? Are we out? Okay. Okay. Whoever this person is better give us something. Okay. Morla? I don't know if we could trust Morla, dude. That doesn't sound like a good guy name. You'd be a little pissed off if you, uh, you know. Wasted our horse, our lax. Yeah. Whoa, dude. This is creepy. We kind of got to hurt you because of that freaking, um, was it the monster the darkness wolf? or whatever? Yeah. I love this music. Whoa! Whoa. Wait, is the mountain Morla? Whoa. Shoot! Whoa! Don't fall, bro! Well, never mind. Oh, I mean, I guess it's okay. Not if he goes back in the swamp. What is it, though? Is it like a turtle or something? Like, what are you, like, the, it, like, the back like is actually... Yeah, yes, is. dude. <laughs> what? What? Huh? That's impossible. He couldn't have heard me. Wait, what? They did hear him, though. That's freaky. <laughs> that it matters. Oh, no. Please help me, Mola. And say it quickly. We haven't spoken to anyone else for thousands of years. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, shoot! Can you warn us? We don't even care whether or not we care. Okay. Oh, man's lived a little too long. Just because you took psychology 101 or <laughs> philosophy 101, get out of here, dude. We're allergic to you. <laughs> Whoa. You know how I can help the Empress, don't you? Not that it matters much. Yes. Okay, well, okay. that really matters. But it matters to us. I will die too, both of you. Die? Wait, he might want to. <laughs> At least would be oh, No. You know, if you tell me now, I'll kill you. What if you promise to go and talk to him every once in a while? <laughs> you know, like, I feel like, no, I'm serious. I feel like that could be a thing. <laughs> oh, oh bro. Tired of sleep. Dude, it's like when there's a kid and they don't know how to cover their mouth and they sneeze, so they, like, talk to you and sneeze right in your face. <laughs> we don't know. You said you knew. You can ask the Southern Oregon. How can I get there? You can. Okay. You literally said I you can ask, this. bro. Good. Just because you gave up, bro, doesn't mean we have to. Can, um... I forgot our main boy's name. I forget, too. Can he help us out somehow? Maybe. Right? You're gonna get caught, bro. Be careful. What the heck? This is in a school? This is a creepy attic. It's lightning and thunder. It's not helping anything. Come on, dude. Face your fear. Tree wouldn't quit now. No, he wouldn't. Let's go. Oh! Oh no! It's oh, the freaking dude! Yeah, we need we need help from our boys or something. Oh. Wanna tray you? Dang. Oh no! I love how they're showing the wolf though. Yeah, and it's that, like, really side really cool. shot of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the breathing. It sounds really cool. What is that? I don't know, it's like something like a flying like It looks like Appa. It's like some sort of like dragon or something like that. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. The f Whoa. Rick? Whoa, that was close. Be careful. What is happening? Atreus slowly opened his eyes and found himself 
strange surroundings. Yeah. And his wounds were dressed. It reminds me of like an eastern dragon too, which is very interesting, yeah. right? Yeah, because it doesn't have like the big wings. No, no, no. Like the, uh... it, oh, it's it, kind of a mix. It, like, kind of glides through the air a little bit. Yeah, looks a little like a dog too, though. Actually, yeah, it does because the ears. Maybe it's not like... supposed to be a dragon. No, nah, it definitely looks like a dragon because it got scales and stuff like that. Is there someone else here though? I don't think so. I think the dragon it's... saved him. But the dragon dressed his wounds. Uh, maybe it's like a magic dragon. I don't know. Wait, but like... oh, leaving so soon. Yeah, he did save you, like, you know. I was just going to... Uh, uh, Let's go to the bathroom, bro. I, I was giving you a bag. Sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, no. Okay, that's a little freaky. <laughs> Could you scratch behind my right ear? Yeah, like, I feel like he, he, this dragon can help us for sure, like... Yeah. yeah. He might he just eats him. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the end of the story. <laughs> Sure. Are we already there? It's right around the corner. How'd all this happen? With luck. <laughs> Never give up, and good luck will find you. Okay. You have a friend again. You have more than one. Look. Is that the rest of our crew, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this dragon. Who's this guy? Who's... Oh, it's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Well, little man, still in pain? Mm, a little, but it's alright. Wait, oh, wait, whoa. wait, what? There's Eye of Newt in there, tree mold, old lizard brains. <laughs> uh, can you wait till we're done? My name is Ingebook. She's a girl. Ever heard of me? I don't think so. Oh, you don't move in scientific circles. Mm. Nah. He's <laughs> more of the, uh, you know, hunting, killing, yeah. adventure type. <laughs> Like an old fool. Okay. The observatory. To the witch. Witch. <laughs> Jeez. Dang, look at that. Can't you go any faster? Ah, uh, marriage. I mean, she's kind of pumping it out and dang. Have you ever been to the Southern Ark? What do you think? I feel like no. Like, it almost seems like, um... Whoa, what is that? I don't know. That is cool looking. Reminds me of like a, one of the older Gatling guns. Yeah, it looks like a cannon, honestly. Oh, it's like a, a, some sort of telescope or something? Whoa. It's the first of the two gates you must pass through before you reach the Southern Oracle. Most people never get that far. Oh, great. Here comes one that looks fancy. Oh, dang, uh -oh. this person's doomed. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so evil. I think he's gonna make it. Dude, he's not even in there yet. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot laser beams. Oh, oh. You're right, dude. Yeah. Well, all the confidence he did have is now gone. The sphinxes can see straight into your heart. Can you do it, Age? Hmm. Like, he's I, got to. I'm gonna try. Tris. No! Don't go here. To the next gate. It's even worse. Oh no! Oh no, Atreyu, you, you gotta listen to the whole thing, dude. Can you like juke it? Yeah, what if we just flew over it? Whoa. whoa. Is it like a magical gate? I was thinking that, Probably. yeah. Probably. Because I feel like people would go around it too, you know? Never make it, never make it. You can't have that, you Man, can't. Man, your confidence is killing the whole Yeah, you gotta have the confidence. The true confidence That's really of cool. self. Come on, dude. You gotta be careful, you're... Just be confident, you got it. I just face forward. Yeah, I face forward, like... I like he has got some legit armor. Yeah. Their eyes aren't open yet. You shouldn't keep looking though, because then it's gonna like... Whoa. That's really cool with the wind across the sand and everything. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah, look at all the different bodies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, of course. Dang. He's got like a salad. Salad. Come on, dude. Watch out, watch it. out. Don't start to doubt yourself. Dude, Confident. you're... Come on. Oh no! Oh, what? Book, 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 book! Oh! He made it. He made it! <laughs> oh dang, don't die! Yeah, you destroyed your machine or something. What the? I always said he could do it! Oh god! No, you didn't. <laughs> I knew he would be safe. Nonsense! Oh, you didn't either. A trail has two faces. 
true self. So what? That won't be too hard for him. Oh, he doesn't. No. Yeah, but he doesn't have demons. I don't think. I don't know. What is it? It's like a mirror. The problem is we didn't get any info on it. Atreus has yeah. no idea what this one's about. That's really cool. Just kind of it in the middle of nowhere. Because it's literally just you. There's nothing else. Can you go through it? Not until he fights himself. Uh-oh. What? Oh, oh. Wait, what? I don't think that's just clever editing. He's literally looking in his eyes. He's what? At, he's looking at himself. What? Huh? Maybe this is going too far. I mean, that's freaky. Atreus. He knew you were signing up for something. Also, the pages are bending. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> that's bothering me. Shoot. What if they really do know about me and Fantasia? Then you gotta save Atreus, bro. Whoa, that's cool. That's, that's super a cool, cool. illusion-like thing. Yeah, 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 because they have two mirrors, right? There was uh, like, I'm not sure. It looked like there was space behind them. Yeah, there. it looked like there was space a little yeah, bit, and they yeah, blocked yeah. it with one of the, yeah. uh... Oh, that's cool thing. Southern Oracle? What? That's not another gate, right? What the heck? I don't know. I'm confused now. Did he get through? Are we done? Are you the Southern Oracle? Yes, we are. Then you must know what can save Fantasia. Oh, you better not ha not have an answer. We do. Okay, but what's the catch? What? The Empress needs a new name. What? A new name. Only a human child can give her this new name. What? Oh, snap. A human child? Where can I find one? The one that you saw in the mirror. Where? But how? How do but we how do does that? that work? How do we get there? Where? You're not even giving us a lead. Uh, like two minutes, maybe, at this rate? That is stunning. Whoa. You know no idea. Oh, great. How do we find a human child? With luck. <laughs> no! That is the Falcor. least comforting thing possible, Falcor. I mean, if you're a luck skill, I mean, luck stat is like maxed, then... Whoa, Whoa dude! Snap. It's like we just found the sprint button. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Dang. That's really cool. What a shame they don't ask me. Uh, dude, I think uh, they're coming to ask you. Yeah, they might ask you. What was your mom's name? Oh, jeez. Whoa. Um. Oh my gosh, that's really cool, though. Where are we almost there? I don't know. I don't even know what's happening. Jeez. Looks kind of like a, a little bit like a hurricane yeah. mixed with like some other weird. Oh, oh. what betray you? What the heck, dude? They're connected. Atreyu's about to show He's up. He's gonna come flying through your window. Yeah, what happened then? I don't know. The heck? Whoa. That's a really cool location. <gasps> no, you lost it. Falcor! Maybe this is the place we need to go. Yeah, maybe somehow you can contact him here or something. Uh-oh. What is this? Is this like another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a foot. Oh. Yeah, it's another like rock monster. Or is it the or same? Or is it the same one? My little friends. I couldn't hold on to them. The nothing, yeah. What? I failed. I'm the one who failed. No, you didn't fail either, okay? There were just some casualties. We gotta keep going. They look like good, strong hands, don't they? Jeez, poor guy. Oh, uh, what? Why is the earth splitting? Probably because the darkness is coming. But still. <laughs> is that him? Or is that a girl? No, it looks like a girl. I in the the one guy looks like the guy back at the Yeah. Yeah, see it's like foreshadowing. Or But this is ancient. So maybe it's happening. So it's that's what I'm saying, like the never ending, like is this like a late uh, yeah, maybe. A, a time loop or something? Could be. Yeah, look at that. That's like scene for scene. Yeah. So can you figure out what to do next? Maybe. Uh uh oh. Oh shoot, that was cool. The extra teeth that they have, like the way or the way they have them placed, is freaky. If you come any closer, I will rip you to shreds. Is it dying? I think it's dying. Is it? Who are you? I am the Morg. Oh no, I guess not. Whoever you are, can have the honor of being my last victim. Yeah, no, he's not dying. Don't you know anything about Fantasia? 
Asia. It's the world of human fantasy. Oh, and it's dying. Ah. Yes. But that also means that nothing's impossible. What <laughs> is the nothing? It, it's literally nothing. Sand. Yeah. It's the lack of. It's like a pit. Yeah. I was sent to kill the only one who could have stopped the nothing. Could have. What, can we not stop it anymore? Oh, he doesn't know. His name was Atreyu. Okay. Oh, nice. Come for me, Gmork. I am Atreyu. Oh, snap. Oh, dang. Let's go. Dang. He stabbed him. Oh, dude, he's huge. Nice. What the heck? A reflection on water. What is That's, happening? It's the, it's the, I forgot what they call it. The little. Oh, pendant. oh yeah, the pendant. Okay. Is that a good gaping hole or a bad one? Looks bad. Looks bad. Hurry, give it to Atreyu. Dude, look at yeah, that. It's all getting sucked in. Well, how can we help? Well, because I feel like since it's linked, then it can't freaking our, our main guy do something? Whoa, dude, look at that. Shoot, uh, we need some help. Somebody. Atreyu. Hurry. Go, bro, go, go, go. Dude, like, uh, there's like nothing left. Jeez, there we go. Can you fly against it, Falcor? Can you help them? That was the end of Fantasia. What? But... If the Ivory Tower still stands, take us there. <laughs> oh, that's oh. cool. That's really cool. The Ivory Tower! <laughs> kind of looks a little more epic, actually. I know. Now that it's floating. It looks like a boss map or something. Oh, yeah, dang. <laughs> I just love the way they show him getting into the book. Like, I remember getting into books like that and, like, uh -huh. being in some weird, awkward position and, like, eating food probably, like, all over the floor. Like, the Empress. Come on. Is she still alive? She's got to be. I don't know, but we can't save her. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I feel like there has to be something. If this is the never-ending story, then this can't be the end. Like, could this be, like, the beginning of the universe or something? That's true. There's it's something we're missing. Okay. Atreyu, why do you look so sad? Why do be you? Well, why she doesn't seem to be extremely like ill. I have failed you, Empress. No. Okay. You brought him with you, the Earthling child, who can save us all. Because like you had a story. Because he's like reading. He went through everything you went through, and now he has come here. Yeah, because you told the story that was compelling enough to bring somebody along. Yeah. Listening to every word. Say. Could you imagine reading what? that? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's him right there. He just shook the entire universe with his <laughs> what? If he's so close, why doesn't he arrive? Does he need to arrive? The never-ending story? What's that? Just as he is sharing all your adventures, others are sharing his. Whoa, this is meta. When he hid from the boys in the bookstore. Wait, what? What? With the Oren symbol on the cover, in which he's reading his own story right now. Wait, that's actually oh, kind of cool. Yeah. The fact that we're doing this as a reaction video makes it a lot weirder. <laughs> <laughs> but they are talking about you. What? Okay, well then, but it can't. No. It's the never-ending story. Is it really me? Dude, it has to be. Yeah, the name. His mother's name. Come on. It's only a story. It's not Just real. Try it. <laughs> you say it's only a story. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Oh goodness. If I say the name, does that help you say the name? <laughs> yeah, like are, are we all What the heck's your mom's name? Bastion. Whoa. That's cool. Oh Bastion, that was his name. I Oh, dang. Come on, Bastion. Why is it so dark? <laughs> In the beginning, it is always dark. What? Oh. What is that? Wait, that is so cool. One grain of sand is all that remains of my vast empire. Fantasia has totally disappeared. No, there's one grain. Fantasia can arise in you from your dreams and wishes, Bastion. Open your hand. You just gotta have them. You gotta have... How many wishes do I get? <laughs> Only three. And the more wishes you make, the more magnificent Fantasia will become. Really? <laughs> Try it. This is about to get trippy or something. Oh yeah. Then my friend, 
first wish is. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Oh dang, that's cool. Let's go. Now like oh yo. Never was. What's up, hey. dude? It's the crew. Oh, oh that's cool. Our tax is back. Let's go. That's awesome. What would you like to wish for next? Um, there's no way. What what is happening? Wait, what? Oh snap! Dude, I would be so scared. Oh, that was a cool shot. Oh. <laughs> the monster! <laughs> the whole street is screaming. Not here. Throw him in the trash yeah. can. Let's go. I'm gonna you guys. That's right. You better hide in the trash. <laughs> Bastion made many other wishes before he finally returned to the ordinary world. But that's another story. What the heck? What do you think? That was really cool. Like that was a really interesting. I, I really it, like like yeah. the message of it. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I don't know, of course, but it was also like it was very. It wasn't like super straightforward. Like no, it was no, kind of like, trippy. Yeah, a little it trippy. got really trippy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't imagine the inception of watching a reaction of watching this kid and watching the kid in the thing <laughs> about the thing in the story. It's like what. Um. Yeah, I I liked a lot of the practical effects. It was really incredible, and I just I oh, like yeah. the idea. I really can't get over the idea of like, you know, the fact that there is kind of a balance there, and having hopes and dreams and things like that. No matter how old you are, but especially as a kid, mm -hmm. is so important. And like, you yeah. can't just focus on, and like those things do inform the real world. Like, no, you know, in a way, like, there is no separation, strangely. It's not like, oh, my hopes and dreams and then the real world. I mean, there are things like that. But in this no, case, it's like being able to believe in something and be able to, like, read these stories and escape informs, you know, how people act in the real world and, and allows yeah. them to function and deal with and do good on a math test or whatever. No, yeah, of course. And I, I, yeah, I, I do like that. That sort of message. I think you, you kind of do need that, you know? There is a lot of, um, I feel like there is a lot of times where it's like, okay, well, you know, let's, let's look at reality, you know, let's, let's, you know, step back a bit, right? And so it's cool to have, you know, stories to help us, like, remember that it's not, you know, a bad thing to have, um, yeah, like, dreams and to do that. Uh, I like it. Yeah, and I think even the fact that it's like, even if you do have that later, it's not something to be like embarrassed about. No. In fact, it's the opposite. It's like, you know, if you're able to escape into a story like that, that's awesome. That's yeah. incredible. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I guess it's a little more applied to the real world, but like, that's an admirable thing. Yeah. Um, in anybody, like, it shouldn't be like embarrassing as like an adult where it's like, dude, I just get so into stories. It's like, that's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I like looked up the definition and I do think it's interesting that his name's like Bastion where I feel like it's kind of like, have you ever heard the phrase like, oh, it's like the last Bastion of Hope or something. It's kind of like, yeah. cause I like looked it up and it's like, oh, it's like a fortress or like the final, yeah, I don't know Bastion. if that was meant to mean anything or not. Well, yeah. Cause that's what I was thinking when I heard his name because you know, I, it was spelled differently, but I was like, it still sounds the same. And so I was wondering like if they were trying to make I some think sort of like so, maybe. to that. Of like, you know, he's the last bastion, like, he, yeah. he defends Fantasia. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I get it. I mean, I, I can't even imagine saying that as a kid. It must have been, like, mind-blowing. Um, yeah, I just, I really like the visuals and stuff and how they really pushed themselves to just have this, like, beautiful, beautiful world. Yeah, no, the effects on this one were, were crazy. They were impressive. Um, yeah, like, a lot of the big big sort of like scenes and um, yeah. you know like uh the giant tower like things like that to do it where it actually feels um impressive and like monumental like on a huge scale is like i feel like very tough um especially for you know back then yeah i agree right with their type of um technology you know, yeah, the type of technology and even just knowledge that they had of what yeah. to do. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know, it's very impressive. Um, and then just the, you know, just the, the ideas and the, I feel like, um, is, is this based off of like a actual story? Yeah. I feel like it might be. I'm not sure. It'd be kind of crazy, like a book within a book sort oh, of thing. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Even, that's gonna hurt because me. if this like story inception. was a book, then it's oh someone in the book <laughs> reading the book. <laughs> I don't know, bro. In a movie about a kid reading a book about a kid in the book, the kid is reading the book, and then we're watching that the book. kid read the book. <laughs> <laughs> a kid, in, yeah. But it kind of does, feel, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, um... Like Which is the part of the wonder, because then yeah. it, it makes you literally get lost in, like, how immersive it is. I don't know. I think that's really cool. That's clever. Yeah. I think it, it anything really that well. can um, do stuff like that, where it almost turns around... Uh, horror movies actually do this a lot, where they'll turn around the gimmick of the movie on you and yeah like, you feel, like, You're vulnerable. Affected. You're like, wait, yeah. you can't do that? That's not allowed. But, yeah. like, to do that then with this kind of feeling of wonder and imagination is such a cool, at least for me, a twist, even though this probably came before. I like that where it's like, it's taking this just fascinating, like really cool, exciting idea and uh, kind of immersive experience. Mm -hmm. And then somehow being like, boom, and like breaking the fourth wall, almost in a more literal way where you're like, wait, is this like actually real? Like, and that's, that's I think that's really cool and, and clever. And it wasn't just like try hard the way they did it. It was very clever and well done. Yeah, and also I think the the you know the way that they um, create those like sets and stuff like that. Oh like, yeah, the one um, where he was kind of like resting with his horse. Yes, um, the fact that it doesn't look super real, and it looks like it's been made, but it still looks good enough to be like um, you know you don't actually completely take notice of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah adds yeah, yeah. to the whole like storybook feel to it. It just know? feels a sl- it feels slightly otherworldly without yeah. being unrealistic. Yeah, extremely unrealistic. Yeah, like you get grounded in it. It doesn't feel like bad. No, but yeah, it yeah. doesn't feel quite. The lighting is a little bit you know too glowy or whatever it is. It's like it's just but yeah, off. and the and the models and stuff and the the space between certain things. Like you can totally tell that it's like a set, but because of that. Those types of movies, like kind of like um, The Wizard of Oz, yeah, yeah, it yeah. feels way more like we're watching a someone book. read a book or yeah, something. Yeah, which is super cool. It's cool. And I think the with the set pieces too, like, I don't know, the way they did the clouds and the flying and stuff too, mm-hmm. I, I'm, that, yeah, it's just impressive. It was really, it was, yeah, it was well done. Yeah, I really all the freaking, yeah, all the, I forgot, I don't know what you call the puppet, like puppetry, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's All really of that good. was just impressive. It's super impressive. Um, so yeah, yeah. Let us know your never-ending story. I don't know story. I don't know. Everybody was talking about this as being a childhood movie, and I feel like that's really cool. So tell us all the childhood memories around this movie. Like I always think that's really fun to hear what people did, or it was like a theater movie, or they yeah. were like I pretended to be a tray you for like seven weeks. At you know, there's always I that stuff. That, like yeah. I did that kind of stuff. Um, so let us know in the comments down below and yeah thank you for being here thank you for watching if you're new here welcome hopefully you stick around we would love to have you as always full length reaction to this movie is up on our patreon next week's 80s movie reaction whichever movie you guys vote for this movie here is also going to be up on our patreon and yeah thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you for joining us hopefully you stick around and if you do we will see you all in the next video